Guys, we're sizzling. We're into the summer sizzle. Summer sizzle. I can't talk. It's all good. Uh, first week, and I have a special. Special. I really can't talk today. I have a special guest. Maybe I should take out my gum. No, I'm not gonna put it behind my ear. I have a special guest. None other than Miss Morgan, all the way from Australia. Handstand queen extraordinaire. We're gonna link her in this as well. Um, so we're doing a sizzle workout today. I'm gonna do something that I have never done before, and that's cardio first. I maybe have done it like three times in my life. I suggest if you guys really are worried about doing cardio and then not having the strength, you know, you might not be as strong in your lifts, do the strength part first, but I wanted to switch it up today. So we got an IWT. IWTs are great because we're gonna pick, like we have pretty much three rounds of three, well, really six different exercises, but we break it up where we do three rounds of one thing and then we move on. Anyhow, it's gonna get a little spicy today. Morgan's in her van. Okay. And then we're gonna do a handstand competition. <laughs> so I can get wrecked. All right, guys, warming up here. I rarely show a warm up, but I feel like when you have someone as flexible as Morgan, it makes the warm ups look really good. And because we do warm up before every workout, I figured why not? All right, I'm feeling my lack of mobility in play here. Doing it next to uh, Morgan. I feel like a spider. <laughs> yeah, you look like a spider. A big freaking Australian spider. They have some big spiders in Australia. First round of things. Next up, goblet squats and run. Next up, we're gonna do 20 squats with the kettlebell and then a 400 meter run around the building, which is secretly probably like 300 meters. But don't tell the people on our program that are following it and doing 400 meters. Just between me and you guys, whoever's watching this. Thumbs up if you heard that. All right, here we go. We got three rounds of this. Uh, we got a minute rest in between, I think, or no, two minutes rest in between. Really blowing the legs up. And so you really, an IWT is a weighted exercise with kind of a more cardio exercise. So obviously the kettlebell swings is the weighted exercise with the rower. This is the same thing. And then we're gonna be doing an ab circuit after this. So three rounds, you ready to do this?
the ab portion of the IWT, which is now not really an IWT because it doesn't involve any cardio. What we have though is a plank with a leg slide to the side, just like that. Morgan has great hip mobility. So if you guys can't go, just the main thing, go as, as far as possible with a straight leg. I don't want you guys bending your knee up. So we got 15 at each side. Then we go straight to toes to bar. Um, strict toes to bar, so we no swinging. We'll demonstrate that real quick. Hollow hold, and then toes to the bar. Oh, look at that. Toes touch the bar so perfectly. And then she's controlling on the way down. Good job. And then the last thing we're doing is a Russian twist with a med ball. So Morgan's gonna demonstrate using a 20 pound, or if you're in Australia, a nine kg medicine ball. <laughs> I think that's right. So side to side here, touching. The big thing is, is we're actually, she's gonna be twisting at the waist, keeping the shoulders, you know, she's not just here. She's gonna be turning the entire way. There you go. And you got 20 reps there. So bang, 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 bang. One minute rest and then we're doing it again. Nasty, nasty cardio. I took a 15 minute break. Now I'm ready to go. And today our arm workout is high volume. So I got 21s here on the easy bar curl. So basically halfway up, all the way down, halfway up, seven reps. Come on all the way up, halfway down, another seven reps, and then we're doing the full seven. So 21 reps in total. Really, this is this is just to, to set the tone. You know, I would say it's just a basic arm builder, but with 21 reps, a lot of blood being forced into the muscle. We're then 30 seconds break, straight into an over the head, easy bar, tricep extension. You can leave the same weight, we're doing 20 reps on that. And then, just like in any good arm workout, one of the main things you need to focus in on is having a mirror in front of you. Because we all know the best way to get good arms is to look at them in the mirror and just give them crazy eye contact. Just never ceasing eye contact into the muscle. Intimidate them great. do the side mirror thing where I'm looking in the mirror on this side next time you just want to rotate to make sure that right arm's in the mirror because whatever arm you look at you're gonna get bigger because you're forcing it to grow through intimidation so you need to switch sides no little known fact right it not bro science it's the real deal stuff it's a cute warm-up set yeah that whole thing is a warm-up set you got head up the weight a little bit so vascular right now. <laughs> Alright, 30 seconds are up. We're working that long head here with the standing easy bar French press. We got 20 reps. Everything on this. This uh, sizzle program is pretty high rep, high volume, short rest. Next superset is a spider curl. On the spider curl, the biggest thing I see people making the mistake of is elbows too far back in curling, um, or I don't really see too many people going elbows too far forward. But basically, you just wanna let your arms hang straight down from your chest, palms up, straight up, straight down. The cool thing about this exercise is you're actually cutting off a little bit of, you know, it's almost like a tourniquet to the arms. As you can see, the pulse is just rushing down, so you get a crazy intense pump. So it's a great one if you want to put it on Instagram, just at me in that. Steve Cook right there, 
just tag me up in that because it always looks a lot cooler than it really is. But basically, we got 20 reps here. Everything is high volume. We're supersetting this with a D-ring cable push down for triceps. So here, we're just gonna stay in that supinated position all the way up, back down. Don't wanna be doing this, and you don't wanna be swinging too much. Crumble cookies in the house? Yo. No, we're, we're not, we're not Planet Fitness, but when it is your last workout, at Fitness Culture, one of our members is sadly leaving us and moving to Colorado. I heard it's because mushrooms are now legal there. I'm just kidding. It's not why it's moving. But you get crumble cookie. Oh my. This is a churro flavored one. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, I just do. Two sugar cookies. I don't even know what the rest of these are. This looks like a sea salt caramel. Oh, can you guys smell that? It smells like sex. In a box. You ready for this? Straight into, uh, straight from biceps. These are biceps, these are triceps. Biceps are for show, triceps are for dough. So really to, to work, you know, we have the long head, we have the medium head, with the D-ring, I'm keeping my elbows actually wide. So this is one of the tricep movements. I'm actually flaring my triceps out and pressing down rather than doing a rope curl and keeping my elbows straight by my side. I'm flaring it out, I'm gonna work more on that medial head of the tricep. So, Biggest thing you don't want to do though, is roll too far over and start using it as a shoulder movement. So keep the lats down, chest high, using the triceps then to press straight down, keeping those elbows wide. We have 20 reps here. Up until now, it's been a pretty good arm pump. Can't touch my arms. We can quit now. You've done your hard work. You've gotten a good arm pump. You're very vascular. Kudos. But is good good enough? Probably not. So we're gonna do seven sets on rope curls. Hot fire flames. That's right. So bicep curls, hammer curls with the rope. Really work on that brachialis. We haven't worked on that brachialis today. So we're gonna be coming up, squeezing, rotating out at the top. Biceps here. You know, we really have three, you have the long head, the short head, and the biceps brachialis. So there's really, you know, three parts of the biceps you can really target. So, seven sets, pick a weight. You can do about 20 reps here. Do 12 to 14, 30 seconds after you've done, hit your reps, then go again. So by that seventh set, you're gonna be dying and just screaming. So the goal is to keep the weight the same throughout. Bicep dance, shake it out, shake it out. Do the bicep dance, do the bicep dance, do the bicep dance. Now floss it out, now floss it out. Do the bicep dance, do the bicep dance, do the bicep dance. What? <laughs> You want to smack your mama. Not my mama, your mama. Happy Mother's Day out there, the moms actually. We won't be smacking you on this day. Let's go do triceps. Now I know what you're thinking. Steve, your biceps look ginormous. You should leave the gym right now. You don't need to train triceps. Your triceps are already big. Your biceps now have a good pump. Just walk on out of here. Pat yourself on the back. If you could reach, but you can't. I know you guys are saying that, but we're not done yet. We got seven sets of 12 to 14 reps on triceps. What tricep exercise? I'm glad you asked. It's gonna be a kickback. It's gonna be right here. You can either do these holding the handle or just holding this ball, like Alec suggested. But I said, take a hike. You're Australian. What do you know? Just kidding, he does know a lot. I like Alec. What we're gonna be doing? Elbows are gonna never, you're gonna stay at their start. 
about 90 degrees, come all the way back, straighten them out, and at the top, we're actually gonna be twisting the wrist out. So that's gonna give us that really, that last mind muscle connection to focus, squeeze that tricep, and then back down. Again, something that you could do 18 to 20 reps, do 12 to 14, 30 seconds break, and then back into it. This is one movement you wanna keep the elbows tucked to your sides here. No sense in getting them out to the side there. 30 seconds, I'm actually gonna drop the weight. Don't shortcut yourself. Remember that an arm is two thirds triceps. I don't really have any scientific data to back that up 100%, but triceps, biceps, two thirds. If you're not hurting on arm day, you must not want big arms. You need to make it hurt. All right, six sets down. It's time for that last set, best set. If it's on the wall, it must be true, right? Another arm day in the book. But I've, over, I've done over a thousand arm days in my life. It's always good when you get lightheaded. All right, let's go see what Morgan's doing. Whoa! Uh, that was a dead fool. Are you gonna teach me how to how to dougie? Teach me how to handstand properly? Yeah. Is it does form really matter? Like if my, not, if my not really at the start to be honest. Okay. Like you can finally that a gymnast that admits admits it. Everyone's like, oh Steve, your abs are not like perfectly straight. I'm like, you know what? If I do that, I'm not gonna be able to stay up as long. No, you can definitely do it with shit form, which just means you're gonna have shit form. Right. And then you can fix it later. So. But don't do heaps with shit form because then you can make bad habits. Don't do heaps with shit form. We're gonna put that on the wall too. <laughs> don't do heaps with shit form. It's a good progression. Um, tell me to the wall. Do I really need to do that? I hate doing that. I just wanna do handstands. Do I need to do that? Well, let's be the best already. Okay, you, say you, you can go to the floor. Okay. If you kick up to the wall without touching the wall. Does that make sense? So. Your hands have got to be pretty close to the wall, but you can't touch the wall. If you make it up and not touch the wall, then you can go to the This floor. sounds like some gymnastics coach bullshit. Well, coach, it looks like we'd be doing some wall drills. That's pretty impressive. I can't do that. Yeah, good, good. Go again, but did you feel that time how you didn't have weight in your fingers? It was all in your palms? Yeah. So you've got to get it into your fingers, because that's where your forearms start working. Nope, we're still bombs. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was good, but you touched the wall. You went too far over. Damn it, I can feel my core's not tight too. Don't worry too much about the core, you just gotta stop it. All right, Push your shoulders forward a little bit more. So what's my first drill? That's literally it. Okay. Oh, to if go? You, yeah, if you can do that, then you'll get it on the floor. Nope, they're still in my palms. I like this, coach. This is good stuff. Oh, yeah, that was, oh. that was, that was nice. Getting better. But you touch the wall, so it doesn't count. Know, it doesn't count. You can't celebrate. Wait, but how, how long are you holding it for? No, you just gotta get up. It doesn't matter how long you hold it up for. Uh -huh. You gotta get up and come back down without touching oh, the wall. Oh, okay. Because I figure, like, when I'm done, like, oh, I could have done that after the hour. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I can feel it in my palms, like yeah. you said. It's low. You'll feel it before you even get up. <laughs> yes! Stevan! That was really nice! Grazie. <laughs> one good one and I'm and I'm freaking the handstand king of the world. Who brings in a dozen crumble cookies while on the sizzle? Craig Goodwin. Craig? Are Because he's he's leaving. So Oh, I'm hey. so glad I'm here today. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. It almost looks like Hobbs. Look. He's flipping the camera off. Yep. <laughs> That's the oh, best part. That is awesome. They're not going to have these cookies in Colorado. I know. You know what would be amazing? That other stuff you can do now legally in Colorado with these cookies. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't subscribe to that either, but if I did, these would be what I would get. Now it is time for the student to become the teacher. What I mean by that, I know I'm not gonna beat her if we just go handstand for time. To be fair, I know I'm not gonna beat her in this either, but I'm gonna have a fighter's chance. What I'm gonna do, here's the starting line. Right here, 
hit the finish line, this line right here, it's just about speed. Who can get there the fastest without falling down? If you fall down, you're disqualified. <laughs> this would probably be the second furthest I've ever walked to, but I'm feeling really confident after all of the good coaches tips she gave me. So, are you good walking? Are, are you a fast walker? I know. Uh, we'll just have to find out. I'm an endurance walker. I'm an endurance walker. Gentlemen, start your engines. Alex, say go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, game over, son. <laughs> game over. I'm just gonna relax. Oh, oh, oh he's coming back. <laughs> Are you going again? <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Look at the scissor legs. <laughs> we did it. No fannies were hit. In the US, that's called a bum. Like, we call it a fanny. Bum, bum. A fanny and a bum are the same thing in Australia. Fanny means something different. We, I have to go show you guys, and this is gonna be honest now, diet hacks. So things, cause I get a lot of people like, oh, how do you do chicken, you know, Steve, like a lot of people in the gym on the sizzle, talking about like macros and eating, you know, chicken and rice every meal. You don't need to do that. It took me years to discover that. So I'm gonna give you guys my top five diet hacks, like foods that I eat when I wanna lean out. So we're gonna go grocery shopping and then go over them when we get home. Cause this winter is so long, feels like it's haunting me.